Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the radius of curvature for the given y. And they have given y as log x by x. Let's find dy by dx. For this, we are going to follow the formula u dash v minus u v dash by v square. So, u dash here, u is log x and v is x. u dash is 1 by x into v is written as it is and again u is log x, v dash is 1, whole divided by v square is x square. So we can cancel this. So we have 1 minus log x by x square at x equal to 1 is a given point. So when we substitute 1, we get dy by dx as 1 minus log 1 by x square. Log 1 is 0 and even the denominator we can substitute x as 1, 1 square is 1. So 1 minus 0 by 1, totally this is 1. Coming to the second derivative, again we have to differentiate this using the quotient rule. So here u will be 1 minus log x and b will be x square. So it is d square y by d x square is u dash which is minus 1 by x into v minus u 1 minus log x into v dash is 2x whole divided by v square. So x square whole square. Anyway we have to substitute 1. So, at x equal to 1. After cancelling this, we get only minus x. So, it is minus 1. When I put 1 here, log 1 is 0. So, we have minus of 1 minus 0. And again, 2 into 1, which is 2. All divided by, this is x power 4. So, 1 power 4. Finally, in the numerator, it is minus 3. De denominator is 1. So, we have minus 3. So, coming to the radius of curvature formula, rho equal to 1 plus dy by dx whole square whole power 3 by 2 whole divided by its second derivative d square y by dx square. If this is negative, we take its magnitude as positive. Then 1 plus, we got the dy by dx value which is 1. So here it is 1 square which is again 1 only. Whole power 3 by 2 divided by minus 3. But we take its magnitude. So we take only the positive value. So the value of rho is 2 whole power 3 by 2 by 3. This 2 power 3 by 2 can be written as 2 into 2 power half. This 3 by 2 is 1 plus half. So we split like this. So finally we get the radius of curvature rho as 2 root 2 by 3. So this is our required radius of curvature.